Hello everybody, I'm Sarah Kishnit from LFSC. Our project is learning it for service education for schools. We are working on this project, learning it for schools. It's basically in consonant with the eight system mission of MHRD, which is working to bridge the gap between the, uh, because we know the facilities that are available to the students of government schools are not up to date. They are, uh, they lag behind in uh, laboratory facilities and in fact in quality teaching. And by this method, this methodology, we are just trying to give them an opportunity so that they can avail those situations and ha and can come up with a better, uh, 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 so that they can have better uh, learning environment. Here uh, we can see uh, the uh, students from the uh, Government schools don't have adequate uh, uh, access to resources like quality teaching as I mentioned. So we are providing them with simulations and applets, very interactive applets so that they can uh, practice and have their illustrations properly. Now now I'm going to introduce my group members. Here's Dhawal, here's uh, Pius, here's Naveen, here's Sriti and myself, this Shreya. Mathematics. Project objective is to develop Java applets. I am working on uh, the developing uh, Java applets. Like uh, we, uh, we are having the applets working on concepts like how to teach, counting. Basically, we have started from class one and we are going to continue <coughs> till class ten. It's our basic mo motto right now. So the fir uh, first is to de develop Java applets. We have worked on uh, counting, addition, and subtraction. Then uh, simulating simple concepts using graphics and animations available in various Indian languages. We have made them available in at least eight Indian languages, including English, Hindi, Bengali, Marathi, Telugu, Malayalam, etc. Now, various practice exercises to test their understanding. While a person is working on an applet, using an applet, for registration or, or anything, the uh, corresponding exercises are attached to those applets so that the student can have access to uh, those exercises and can test his uh, understanding or skill. Okay. Now, uh, now I'll be showing you some demonstrations mm -hmm. for that. Defining this carry by this alphabet. So, this is addition of numbers less than 9. Images have to be very interactive, very uh, 
very understandable. So, I'll be showing it in Marathi. What keyboard have you used to enter the numbers in the respective languages? So, I have passed the parameter, Unicode parameters to HTML. Oh, Unicode parameters. Yes, so, depending upon the language setting, it will display. Yes, so we, we plan to upload it on Exeksha portal. So, but somehow, some, some circumstances, so, so we couldn't. So, just I'm showing it. Ideally, you are Ideally, on the Ekshiksha portal, the student will select his language. Okay. So, if all the tools that are available will come in that language. So, it will be the same thing. Okay. It will go to the database and find out what is the symbol for one. Okay. So, I, we use minimal text in this. So, it's the same code. Okay. It will go to the database and so code base is not different for any, anything that is No. So we have introduced two, uh, two controls here. Refresh means the whole app will be running again. And at exercise, this exercise and click the one will give you a uh, corresponding exercise to the associate. Huh? Uh, exercises like this. This is a subtraction exercise. Now there are, uh, uh, there are seven numbers here, minus two. This, this should be five and also. Then the student takes some five, and it appears like this. So minimum text has been uh, added. So, so we use the image for uh, tick marks and loss. If the answer is wrong, this uh, appears like this. So the same thing appearing in maths and Mar uh, Marathi and English. There is another exercise. This is in Hindi. Uh, we are we are planning to this change this into Hindi, the text part. Yeah. So this is four and five. The, the student has to count the concept of tens and ones, counting from ten to ninety-nine. So the bundle has ten six and these are individual sticks. This one two tens and seven ones. The total number of sticks is twenty-seven. The student has to enter it like this. Two in the seven. Nice. So because we uh, we just uh, wanted to make it very friendly for the user. So there is an exercise on counting again. The student has to match the two columns, count and match. So like. He chooses uh, first column and then here it comes. I have to modify this, but this is the basic thing we got for teaching yeah. 10 and 1. So, so we are having images, randomly generated images for these, uh, these apples. Instead of uh, bananas, they, there can be bundle of sticks, petals, flowers, etc. Every time we refresh, a new image can appear. It's a directly So now I'll pass this to Shruti for physics. I'll be talking about the physics module of our project. Uh, the objective of this module was to develop uh, Java applets using EJS. Now, EJS is easy Java simulation. Uh, it is a tool used for uh, creating scientific simulations. We'll come to that later. But uh, right now we've uh, focused on uh, CDSE textbooks of classes 7 to 10 standard. And uh, phenomena like reflection of light, refraction of light, and uh, electricity, magnetism, such activities have been described in the simulations. Now, uh, I'd like to tell you something about EJS. EJS is uh, easy Java simulations. It is a free tool which is used for uh, creating scientific simulations in Java, mainly for teaching purposes. And uh, it is part of the open source physics project. Um, now, the EJS window has got three panels. Uh, first, I'll be telling you about the view panel. This is where you actually design the view of your simulation. 
as in how your simulation will look. Uh, so uh, you can have various objects like whatever you want, lines, rectangles, images, everything is available, 2D, 3D objects, all that is available. You just have to drag and drop them onto the paint show for it and your view will be created. It will be shown a preview also. Uh, then you have the model panel. Here is where you model the simulation. I mean, you have to decide what variables you have to use. And uh, you get a table like this. And uh, also this is where the coding is done in the model panel. Then you have the description panel. This is where you can add text which will appear when your applet is run. But we have not done that because we want to minimize the use of text into any particular language. So now I'll be showing some simulations which we have developed. where uh, the angle of incidence can be input. So, and when you click on play, the simulation will be played. The slider above will match as an alternative for the angle of incidence. The corresponding angle will be shown in the field there, when you play again. Also, similar to reflection, but uh, something which can be done here is, you can input the refractive index. So, demonstrates the Ohm's law. Um, here you can input the voltage uh, in that field and uh, like the Ohm's law says that voltage and current are directly proportional. So when you input uh, voltage here, correspondingly the bulb will light up and when you increase the amount of voltage, the current will also increase and the intensity of the bulb will change accordingly. You can also change the voltage from the slider. Apart from the experiments, we have also done some activities that are given the textbooks. So, the students can understand better. This is one of the simulations that is Newton's third law. that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So this is an activity which shows. <coughs> so apart from that. Okay. This is a chemical effect of current. As mentioned earlier by Shreya, in rural areas the students cannot do experiments as they want. So we have tried to make a virtual lab. So just created a base where the students can do their experiments plus uh, see how it works. So we have shown a demonstration mode 
and the exhibit will be performed as per the journal. And uh, it has options like drag and drop, so the students can uh, do their experiments on their own, move the instruments, the patterns accordingly. And rewinding play, pause mode, so the students can see what has happened again and again. So if they have any doubts, they can be clear. And uh, according to it, the students can do their assessment. So we will show you the demonstration of how it works. As you can see, the application has been in Java. We have five major uh, packages. Uh, the executive package or the executive program. These are these be what we see uh, here. These are the different around all the objects. These were designed by these guys. And I was the one who worked on the uh, executive program which could uh, actually animate the, all these objects in hand and get the same sense of real experiment, experimentation. This is the experiment shown here is in the demonstration mode. And what we have to do is, this is the explicit force solution in a chem bottle and a slow this water. We have to make a, the variety of the solution is, uh, as it is, you know, 0.1 volt. And the uh, experiment says that we have to make it 2.01. So, actually, there is supposed to be a whiteboard. This is not all. What I had said is that there should be an experiment, okay, plus an explanation. Okay, so that did not come with this. That can come as HTML, so that I can do it in all languages. Okay. So that was one thing. So the experiment pro is prepare a solution of 0 0.01 molarity. Yes, would come, would come actually there. there as a demonstration, so with text explanation for each thing, correct? And that can be done because uh, he has a journal, okay, journal in and journal out, okay. So what is showing a demonstration mode, the input is actions and the actions are take this equipment, put it on table, take this equipment, pour. I'll show the XML from which the This is the XML input. Experiment actually happens. First, take the empty beaker, pour, pour ml of H2O4 in it, take chem bottle, then pour, pour ml of H2O4 in it, keep the bottle aside, take some water, add 36 ml of it, so that 36 plus 4 plus 40 ml, the polarity is reduced to 10 times. This is what the demonstration mode. The feature here is the C pop so that the student can go back to the previous stage, what was the scenario at that time. Actually, we need to have a, a properties pane here, so that we can the student can click over here and the corresponding properties, including molarity, uh, uh, are also new. We are, we are they have just done the framework. So, similarly, if I play from this, same thing happens. Okay. Actually, we had a tough time implementing this sigma since it serializes each and every object in the file. And upon resuming it, the object gets read from the file and the experimentation goes on. It's actually a serialization of the objects in the So we are saving every coordinate that is happening, like every every feature. So basically, a thing is moving from here to here, so we are saving that part uh, as a temporary one. And that part, when a bar gets uh, reduced, the number gets reduced and at the same time the same serial number file gets accessed and it gets cleared. This was the demonstration mode. This is the activity mode where we can form activity. Like, right. I over here. Channel 3 here. Actually, in practical, channel 3 is never going to access the but for sake of so it, I want to go over an amount of 20 and from channel 3 to access the
this one. It is actually taken from the, the each and every step is mentioned in the activity that action type move. Is move the corresponding apparatus. That is ID. Here the apparatus required has an ID ID field in it, which identifies a particular object uniquely. Move ID D from to, to this this location where action two hundred five four. So it actually moves the object to the corresponding location. Similarly, four. Four is for pouring the content from one to another. And similarly, we have a heat to heat up the content. And when you say amount, the amount is understood in the context of the normal unit. Amount. So it is only chemical chemical equations, chemistry is done in amount. This is the sample of the amount. Experimentation moment. Apparatus glass pair, non glass pair are there. For non glass pair, particular burner is there. Then glass pair, then subtype is there. We can, like we have glass pairs, we can have round, round bottom glass of the unit of the pit. So we have type and subtype as well. Responding uh, attributes are mentioned.